Hey guys, this is Jared from Reap What You Sow, and today is uh, processing beef day. As you can see behind me, uh, he is uh, rinsing off the cow, and then we'll be skinning it and moving forward from there, and I'll show you each process as we go. This is Aaron. This is our nephew. That's Todd's sister's child that's helping us today with the cow. Boy, that got quiet. That was a big fan in the background. What I'm going to do start off doing is I got this strap run around the bone. I got the ligament on the back side. That's how you got to do to hang it. I'm going to strip, come down the leg on both sides and start peeling the hide down and let the hide lay on the ground. When I get to the tail and the exit point over there, I'm going to cut around that, hold it together and tie a string around it and cut it all the way around it and it'll go back inside the cow. You got to wash that out and let it go back in the, in the cow. If you don't, all that crap's going to get on your meat. But this is where I'm going to start at, from the top and just work my way down. We got a bucket of water over here so we can keep our stuff clean. Work it, work it down. Start from right here and just work it around. Look, hold on there. Get out for a second. Let me get it going. Aaron, is this your first time butchering a cow? Yes. Once you get started, get the weight pulls the ground. The weight pulls the ground for you. Y'all, you're supposed to have a single tree to hold this thing spread open like this to work. But mine is at the camp. It's not here. Aaron, this is a very good trade to learn, isn't it? Well, yeah. Deer, everything else, the same one. Except I hang a deer by the head. I'm not gonna stay with me. If you hang a deer by the head, what is the purpose of hanging the cow head down? Because I want the internals in this cow for my booty. Thank you. 
ਕੋਟੇ ਬੈਠੇ How old is this cow? About four years old. You don't think the meat to be too tough? Nope. Why not? Because when the cow is fattening up, is when your meat's tender. I like older meat a little bit better anyway. It's aged better. She just tastes better. So she's not just uh, grass fed? No, she's grass and fed. I don't like mine just grass fed. It, the meat tastes different. A lot of people like just the grass. I don't. So she's grain and grass fed? Yes. She was not in no uh, pen. She was loose, but yet still getting grain. Right here, see all that yellow right there that's all your fat that's what you're trying to get as long as they're putting fat on the meat is tender okay guys I'm gonna bring you back when he gets a little bit further Travis, take your rope and tie it around this right here. All right, pull over my hands. Pull over my hands. Put your two wraps. Two wraps around it. Tie your knot. It's going to be tight. Mm -hmm. Put your string off. And what is this? That's an exit point. And why are you tying? Hold on a minute. Mm. So you don't get crap on your meat. Mm. Get over here and hold this. You got that knife right. Set that knife right there. Go around the other side and hold this. That's a baker's knot. That's what you got in there. Hold that tight. Okay, I'll do it. I can smell the steak covered. Really. All right, turn loose. All right, what I did is I cut it all the way around, complete circle around, and tied it, tied it up, to where it goes through the cow when I'm butchering. That way, it doesn't get in your meat at all. How old was you when you butchered your first cow? Uh, I was coming back a 
lot of fat, huh? That's a milk bag. Oh. You notice I changed knives. I went for this one right here with the round blade, and it's not as sharp. It keeps from cutting so bad. Better skinning. Just keep working around. The skin puts the weight on it now, so it makes it easier and easier. Just stand and pull it down for you. Hey guys. This is where we'll be hanging the meat in here, in this cooler. As you can see, well, it's up to 57. That's because at 58, I got the store open. But we're slowly dropping the uh, temperature in here. But this is where we'll hang it. Take this front shoulder off. Okay. Okay, reach, reach in here, right here, and hold it. Okay, reach in here, hold it right there, too. I'm going to take the shoulder off and go to the scooter with it. Okay. Uh -huh. Shoulder he's taking off. You do just follow the body line. Okay, got it? Come and take it. Come up. Down. Back over. Six hole. Check it. Okay, we're good. Cut all the way down, right in the dead center, with your saw. But I'm not able to do that the way I'm set up right here. So I'm gonna come in through the side, cut to the center, and cut all the way down. I'm gonna leave the neck on that side and that part up. That way we can get it down here where we can work with it.
y'all, it's been a long day. We got all the meat hanging up in here. We're running about, it says 55 right now, instead of coming open up, so I got the door open. It was 51 when I opened it. I've got the meat hanging in here. I've got everything but the back two hind quarters. I got them in my freezer and let them chill overnight. And then I'll put them in here. That thick meat takes a whole lot longer to chill. And this little air conditioner is working its tail off to get it cool off in here. And this is what you call a cool box system. This little unit right there will drop it down to 34 degrees in here. But it takes a while to get there. That's a neat little system that they got for a regular air conditioner. If y'all can see, that's just a small unit air conditioner. I ended up changing the air unit out a while ago. This is the one that was in there. Because it's been in there a couple of years and it kept freezing up on me. I tried washing it and cleaning it out, but I believe the Freon was coming out of it. So I went ahead and changed it out. All right, y'all, that's all for this little video here. As I do more cutting the meat up and stuff, I'll show you how I do it. And I'm, I'm not no professional when it comes to cutting up meat, but I can cut the steaks out of it. And I can make stew meat and ground meat. That's basically all we eat anyway. So we like rice and gravy and I know how to make them cuts. As far as all the little special cuts, I do not know how to make them, but I have all that meat cut up. And it's going to take me a while to do it because I'm going to try to let that stuff stay in there for two to three weeks if everything works out. And that tenderizes your meat a lot better. And uh, I'm just, that way with this cooler, I can do it step at a time. As I'm, when I get home from work, I can do a little bit every day because we're going to pack it up and put it in the freezer. But I just want to tell you thanks for coming with me. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, guys. Comment, let me know what you think. We're not professionals, but we just get it done. That's the way we do it on the homestead over here. God bless. Catch you later. Bye-bye.